what I'm going to be doing in this video is not really teaching you how to format, but how to set up your Word for formatting. And here's a website to learn how to format so you're not lost and you know what I'm talking about. It, it might be actually a good idea to read this before watching this video. I'll post the link to this, the link at the top here. I'll post that link on the right there in the description of this video so you can click on it and go here and just read all the different this page. It's not that long. See, it's a pretty short page. There's not a whole lot to read. At the bottom, there's some examples here. I can click on the novel example. And this is the cover page. And there's there are a couple things I'll talk about just briefly because um, I can't remember if that page talks about them or not. So first thing then, before we get into setting up our Word, for you know, before we have a style saved, we don't have to do it every time. You can just like click on the template and you're ready to rock and roll uh, every time you get started. So on the left hand side here you'll have your name and everything. Uh, you know, so read the page, it'll, it'll tell you what you need on the left hand side here. This is your cover page. In the middle of the cover page, if you format properly, you'll have 25 lines. So the, the center will be about 13, 13 lines down. So you want to center your title and your name. Make sure that if you have a novel by your name, make sure that A is not capitalized. If you start with by, make sure by is not capitalized. Uh, this should be double spaced. I think even this should be double spaced, all of this, but um, I, I guess it's not mandatory, so you can have it like that. Sometimes uh, you can have your word, the about how many words up here. And I want to say how to come to the proper amount of words. It's really, it's really simple. If you format your if you follow the instructions on that page and you learn how to format properly, you'll you'll have the, the 25 lines and about 250 words per page. So what, what editors expect you to do then as a properly formatted manuscript is to count the the page number down here, the bottom left hand side, and multiply that by two fifty. And then that and then round it down and that'll get your approximate. Don't type approximate though, just type about like this, you know, this is the good way to do it. The header won't start until the first page. Now, his first page is like a greeting to someone, but th this would actually be here uh, on your first paragraph, or if you have a prologue, it'll be on your prologue. Every this the page the, anyway. The website talks about this, so I, I don't have to go through this. But every um, page should every chapter, the beginning of every chapter, should start halfway, and so should your synopsis if you're attaching it for like a contest or something. So this will be like a last name, then one word from your title, and then page number. Anyway, I'll show you how to do all that. So because that's that's what's important is what the what these websites don't do is show you how to use Word and how to get everything set up and saved and everything. So that's what we're going to go through now. How much time did I just waste babbling? Three minutes. Okay, whatever. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we'll go to File, Page Setup. Make sure this is one 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 one. That page will tell you why. Sometimes it's 1.1, but leave it at this. Should be your standard right here. Don't worry about gut or any of that stuff. You're not you're not formatting for printing. That's the typesetter's job. You're formatting for the editor. This is what editors want. So you want to make sure that it's formatted for editors because that's what you want to do. So you don't want to use fancy fonts and all that. Use Career New or Career Dark, which you can download for free. Size 12, unless otherwise stated by the publisher, unless they say we want Times New Roman, this is the standard. So, this is what editors want to read. Okay, so one 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 one. Hit default here. Uh, make sure your paper is eight point five by eleven. Um, if you're in the UK and you're publishing in the United States, eight point five by eleven. If you're publishing in the UK, I forgot what the standards are. I think it's A4. Uh, left to right, this should all be standard um, default anyway. Header, footer. So yeah. Okay, then click uh, default here and click yes. Make sure this is career. I have career new. Um, if you have uh, like um, career dark, you can use that. Did I say career? I meant career. I think that's how it said. Yes, I don't even have career dark, um, but you can download it for free if you like that one better. But I think you can get career new for free as well. Okay, so size 12. Next thing you need to do is go to Tool uh, Format and Paragraph. Make sure that this is set to double. Always double space. I think everything else default here is, is fine. Go to Line and Page Breaks. Uncheck this. If you notice that your um, 
manuscript is hyphenating words on the right hand side I think you click here uh, to put a check there but I, I never need to so I don't do it uh, tabs 0.5 should be the standard click OK you can then click this I like to do this I mean if you if you're used to tabbing you don't have to do that but I like to set this top triangle which is automatic tabbing for each start of a new paragraph uh, if you don't like that then leave it but I like it so I'm putting it there then go to uh, format and auto format click on options make sure that uh, you uncheck this and this so hyphens and straight quotes and then also under auto format as you type uncheck those two okay I'll tell you why to do that the website should tell you though click OK then just click reject all it, it automatically will save that the reason why you want to do that is because um, editors want straight quotes because it gives you proper word count and they want proper word count editors want um, the double hyphen because it's easier to see the M dash is harder to see so don't do the M dash it's almost indistinguishable from the hyphen so uh, if you already have a if you already have your uh, manuscript formatted improperly and you're wondering well how do I change all this for my I have a whole book written how do I change all this I'm gonna show you how to do that so don't panic okay I'll probably have to show that in the next video um, part two how to do all that okay the last thing we need to set up is our header so we'll go to view header and footer hit enter once type your last name space slash space slash and then hit this icon down here it's inserts the page number and then hit write justification and you can close it now what that does is it'll number each page um, in your manuscript one two three as as each page starts okay so then we're gonna go to uh, we want to save all this because we don't have to do that we don't have to do it every single time so we'll go to um, format styles and formatting click on new style or first down here for show first click uh, formatting and use then go to new style I'm gonna label mine novel to just in case I already have another one I can't remember then go add a template put a check down here click OK okay now I'm gonna go ahead and close this don't save it file new open now I'm going to have my options down here um, show available formatting or you can or you can show available styles uh, it doesn't really matter anyway that's the one I just named so that's, I thought I had another one here I'm going to click this one I just made you can see all the options I have there I'm gonna, now watch when I go to formatting and paragraph you'll see everything is set up notice there's no check there double spacing so everything is good everything is how I want it now I'm ready to rock and roll I can just start writing and follow you know the formatting rules and watch so I go to formatting and styles of formatting oops that's not what I want to do I mean I wanted to go to view and uh, header and oops there we go and then and, you know everything else is all set up I just start going but you're like, okay, that's all fine, everything. But what if I have a, a whole novel written or something, or whatever short story, and I need to format it properly? And how, how do I get everything to work right? I mean, this this is fine now. Like for example, I type my um, quote marks. Notice they're they're straight up and down. They're not slanted. Uh, how do I, you know? But what if my 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 manuscript's all messed up already? It's already formatted incorrectly. How do I make this work for me? Well, I'll show you how to do that in the next video part two. I'm going to take this last minute really quick to talk about contest. If you're entering a contest that you can't put your name, most contests like the uh, Romance of America contest, you can't put your name anywhere on the manuscript. So uh, usually it's just the like young adult bending and then the page number. Um, so there'll be, you know, whatever category you're entering, historical, let's say it's a historical romance, you type historical and then you put your, you know, one word of your title and then the page numbers and the page number begins on where the chapter is not on the cover page that is don't put a don't put your footer or your header uh, on the cover page okay so let's learn how to fix a manuscript that's already wrong